Speaking of chambers and plates, uh, as long as we're on that topic, I'm going to skip my uh, number two and number three reverb, and I'm going to go right to four and five. Um, four is going to be my Abbey Road plates, and this is another great plate I purchased from Waves, uh, emulating the Abbey Road Studios uh, plate they had in London. Uh, the Beatles used this. All the recordings that were done with uh, plates uh, uh, were at Abbey Road were using this, uh, this type of plate. Um, and this is an emulation of that exact Abbey Road plate, or actually four different plates that they had. Uh, and um, Waves has done a very nice job of uh, sampling and replicating the controls and tones of uh, that reverb plate. Uh, so in addition to my uh, Seventh Heaven uh, plates, I've got my Abbey Road plates as well, and I think they sound great. Um, I really like the interface, uh, the way it looks. Uh, it, it looks really kind of steampunk and retro, um, probably just like it, the original controls did back in Abbey Road. Uh, I love a good human user interface like this. Um, it's got the, uh, the input uh, fader, uh, the stereo output fader, which are grouped as a pair, or you can you can unlink those if you want and adjust them separately if you wanted to really dial it in. It's kind of cool. Once you split one and then you relink it, then you can move them together like that. If you command click it, it's going to pop them back to zero. Option click, excuse me. Option click, it'll pop things back to zero, even if they were split like that. Option click it, boom, it's going to move things back to zero. Uh, the plate itself, um, you'll get a nice little animation when you run signal through that. It looks like the plate is reverberating and you see waveforms coming out of it. Uh, and then you can choose, Abbey Road had four different uh, plates, like Capitol Records had four different chambers. Uh, Abbey Road has four different plates that they use. I think they were up in the attic or some upstairs room like that in big wooden crates. Uh, that you could uh, walk, again, they would have to send a, a technical engineer up there to make adjustments to the plate. They actually had, the plate was huge. It was about four by eight feet, I believe. And when you sent a signal to it, it came out from a little, basically a little microphone or transducer in the middle of the plate, reverberated out over the plate, uh, the metal plate to the edges where they had pickups, basically little microphones on the edges of the plates and that would pick up that reverberation and they could send that back to the control room where they would blend that in with a dry signal and get the sound of that plate vibrating. Uh, it was a thick metal plate and it, uh, it vibrated and that's, they found that that was a, a great alternative to building big underground chambers. Uh, they could just have four crates up in the attic and um, it was much easier, I mean they were heavy, it would take four guys to move it but you didn't have to invest in real estate and uh, steam shovels and things like that. You have a selection of the four different plates that they had available to them. Uh, so different studios, Studio A could tap into one plate and do a recording and then Studio B could use a different plate uh, and they could just switch them out like that. Um, here you've got some EQ settings. I won't go too far into that. Uh, uh, what I will go into here is this dampener right here. And basically what that is, is this moved an absorbent material you can't see it here, but on the back of this plate, uh, there is a frame with an absorbent of like felt-like cloth attached to a very flat piece of uh, probably metal or wood that when you move this dampener, it would move the dampener physically closer to the back of the plate. It would never touch it, but it would, it would the closer you moved it, it dampened the sound. It didn't let that that plate ring out quite so much. And the closer you got it, you could get it really, really close and that would cut down on the reverb time. Sort of like moving those microphones in the chamber would do. Uh, you move the microphones closer, it's not gonna be as much reverb. Same here, if you move the dampener uh, closer and closer to the plate, you're gonna get less and less reverb. So that's, the, that's how they controlled the length of the reverb. Uh, obviously they couldn't physically change the size of the plate so what they did was it had that dampener on the back to, to dampen the, the plate. Also a nice little list of presets here. Uh, they're not named like producers or anything like that. They're just some, they've given you a very nice selection of uh, different plates for different things. 
Again, no rules. Uh, these are acoustic guitar plates, drum plates, percussion, snares. Uh, but you could you, you don't have to use them on those instruments. You can they're just suggestions. Uh, there's a vocal large plate, whatever you want. You could use that on a snare or a horn. Uh, no rules like that. The nicest thing though is this little knob here. You can you can switch the different plates. There's a little animation that goes along with them. Not quite as cute as Capital Chambers, but I think Waves did a nice job. Uh, the nice thing about this plate is I think I got it for on sale for about 30 bucks. If you wait for the Waves plugins to go on sale, which they do all the time, uh, they're, you know, they're, they look expensive when you go on and purchase them at the, the list price of a hundred and something dollars, but they're always on sale for like 30 bucks, $29. I think I picked that, this, this nice little plate up and it, it sounds just, just fantastic. Uh, you don't have to turn the knob, by the way. You can just click down here, and it's much easier than the knob. I think the knob looks really cool, though. Probably a physical metal knob that somebody had to go up, climb up into the attic and turn. These things weighed about 500 pounds in their crate, and there were four of them. I think Abbey Road had another set of them in another room. I'm not sure about that, but uh, these are the four that are up there. I think they're still in use. Fantastic sounding plate. Hey, thanks guys. I appreciate your interest and in, uh, sticking with me all the way through this. Uh, if you've enjoyed the uh, content, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. If you really would like to see more, uh, press the subscribe and I'll let you know as I create more of these videos. Um, you can uh, look up some of the products I've endorsed here at the bottom under the comments section. Just hit show more and you'll see some links to some of these uh, plugins for you to download directly. And I just wanted to say a mahalo from Hawaii. Aloha till next time. Shoots!